Hi, I'm Matt from East Bears. Now, I just love my dishwasher. Anything that saves me having to wash up by hand is worth its weight in gold. But isn't it really annoying when the dishes come out and they haven't cleaned properly? You've still got to wash them by hand again then. So, let me show you one or two things that you can do to avoid that happening. Let's start by looking at detergents and so on. We've got salt, detergent and rinse aid here. Now, why do we put salt in a dishwasher? Well, um, it's to soften the water because these detergents are only really effective when the water is soft. And you should only ever use dishwasher salt. Uh, if you use table salt, then that could damage uh, the machine itself. L let's have a look inside. If I just take the bottom rack out of the way there. Um, this is the water softener here, and the salt just goes into there. Um, people often want to know how much salt you should put in. Well, you can't really overfill it. Just keep going until it sort of comes up to the top. A bit of water might spill over, but don't worry about that. Um, and if you keep that topped up nicely, then that'll keep the detergent working well. Only ever top up with salt when you're about to use the machine because you don't want salt sitting around here where it might corrode the bottom of the, of the dishwasher. When it comes to the detergents themselves, there's lots of choice. Um, that's a standard powder, and then there are lots of these all-in-one, five-in-one type uh, tablets and gels. Now, they very often say contains salt action, but if you're in a hard water area, it's really important that you add the salt to the water softener in the bottom of the machine as well. And these also typically tend to contain rinse aid. If you're using a normal powder detergent, then you'll need to add a separate rinse aid. Now the rinse aid helps the water run off the glassware and the crockery really quickly so you avoid these kind of streaky lime scale stains like we've got here. And the other good thing about adding rinse aid yourself is that most machines nowadays allow you to vary the amount of rinse aid that's released. So if you look under this rinse aid cap here, if you've got streaky glasses you can turn that up and add a little bit more. If you start getting a sort of blue film or milkiness, then that's probably too much rinse aid and you can just turn it down. Do try and remember to check your filters regularly. These can often get gunged up with bits of food and they come away fairly easily. Just give them a good rinse under the tap so that they're nice and clean. And if there's any damage to them, they're pretty inexpensive and really easy to replace. When you fill in the dishwasher, make the best use of the space that you've got available. Remember, this spray arm has got to be able to spin round, so if there's anything blocking that, then nothing in the top basket is really going to get clean. If you are short of space, like we are here, in most dishwashers you can actually change the height of the top basket fairly easily. There we go, that's much better. There's a lot more space for that now to spin round and get our plates in there. Check the bottom of your cutlery basket, make sure you haven't got any holes in there, because if you have, then your cutlery is going to poke through and stop that bottom spray arm from spinning. Now the final thing that's going to stop you from getting clean dishes is damaged parts on your dishwasher. Lime scale is normally the biggest culprit there. If you run through a service wash every month or two with one of these lime scale and detergent remover sachets, just empty that out into the bottom of the machine. Um, run it through with no dishes in there but on its hottest setting and that'll help to break down some of that lime scale. Where you have got damaged parts, they can be replaced. Almost everything on the dishwasher can be replaced. Um, the baskets, the wheels, the cutlery basket, the spray arms, um, the filters, the detergent dispenser and you can find all those parts on the East Bears website where you'll also find some really great videos where we show you how to fit them. Thanks for watching.